On the weekend, Sydney went to Adelaide and for a quarter of football, did not look like they were going to be in this one whatsoever. And then in the second quarter, it's almost like they went, all right, with that our bad start, we're just going to get straight into this. And then this happened. Bag, 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 do you love it when you kick them? Bag, 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 it's got to be six of them. Can I just say, Joel Amati had a bag of nine, nine goals won, ten kicks, J-Dog. Ten kicks. He went four, four, and one, and that one in the last quarter, I think it was about the 15-minute mark of the quarter. So there was so much more time for them to go. They just went on a tearaway rampage. The most he's ever kicked in a game is four. He's gone to nine. He's sitting equal fifth in the Coleman at the moment. But if I said Joel Amati's going to kick nine two days before, he'd go, that is what this team is about at the moment. And I, I went and did some research on the Swans at the moment because I just had to figure out what are they doing with the ball goals-wise that is just so much more dominant than the rest of the league. Because, like I said, they're, what, 30% clear over most teams and three games clear at the top of the ladder. Mm -hmm. And it's where they're kicking their goals, it's how they're kicking their goals, but what they're doing to kick them as well, which just is is dazzling me. So I'm just going to go through some statistics at the moment, and um, they're just amazing. So at the moment, They are converting at 91% um, for goals wider than the goal posts, so other point posts, right? So you've got the the wide is anything wider than the point posts out is wide. Anything goal posts or point posts in is the center, all right? So they're converting at the moment at 91%. The only team that's kicking better outside of that that wide margin is Carlton. Where are they sitting? Second, all right? So they're converting beautifully from the sides there. All right, they um the the medium range goal kicking like thirty to fifty meters. They're getting around about nine and a nine and a half goals a game from thirty to fifty meters out in the center. Mm-hmm. Like if you talk about you know standing in the hole in the good old days, that is that is heaven. Thirty to fifty meters out. Straight in front, they're kicking nine point two to nine point five goals a game from that location. Well, that is that is the highest in the league, bar none. All right. Um, they uh, they're also what else have they got here? Sorry, I've got a flip the page. They are also uh, getting sixty sixty two points a game from turnovers. Okay, but their forward half turnovers is fifty three. It's something like eight points or nine points more than any other team running around at the moment. Their second for one percent is a 48.81 percent per game. And the only team beating them is Geelong from that perspective. They also score around about 39 points from their defensive half as well. They are just so on song. And, and the way that I read this is, is that they've got the rebounding capabilities coming, you know, Malikin and we've got the Lizard as well too, coming off half back that they can rebound beautifully from there. Mm-hmm. But their midfielders and wingers also push up to that halfway mark to be able to stop the ball in the forward zone. So anything's coming out, they've got that wall. Mm-hmm. So instead of generating it down back, they were like, we'll bring it forward and then we'll be able to rebound that out. Okay. What also makes me just sit back and go, they are amazing at what they do is they are able to just get the ball down fast to be able to have that many scoring shots per game from that 30 to 50 metre range straight in front, that forward 50 has to be open. So the forwards are working for each other and getting out of everybody's space. They're doing the simple things well, which David uh, Salt has written up on there. They get the ball into their forward 50 really, really quick. And then if they does turn, if it does turn over, They've created that wall for the rebound to come out. It is just they're working so much faster than everybody else. And the number of goals that Amadi got out the back within that, like I said, zero to 30 metre range on the weekend, I don't think he kicked a goal probably more than 40 metres on the weekend. That is just how much room and space that he had. 
And if it's not him, it's Logan McDonald who kicks it. If it's not him, it's McLean another week. They just, as they would say in the classics, they all get their lick of the ice cream. It is just, they are so far better organised, structured than any other team running around at the moment. And for anybody to beat them, you can't just stop their backs. You can't just stop their forwards and you can't just stop their mids. You're going to stop the entire collection of 18 players and the ones that come off the bench because they're just like sprockets in an engine. One breaks down, they just pull it out, put the new one in, they play their role and they just hum along. They are defensively amazing, but their offensive way of working and what they do in front of goal is absolutely brilliant. And is I the know- premiership over? Is it over, Peps? It's never over. We've seen teams get to the to the last dance, and unfortunately, they didn't get the score for the judges. We could go back to uh, two thousand and eight, Geelong and Hawthorne. That's happened there before. Uh, you could almost go. Well, we've even had, we've even had prelims where teams have fallen over. Richmond in two thousand and eighteen, they got coxed. Do you remember that? Um, I do remember the coxing. They got Carlton. You still have to win it. But when you've got so many things in line, I think it puts a team who's coming into play. They have to not just win it, but they have to stop whoever they're going against. And at the moment, I just don't know what they've done. And they haven't seduced me, Buzz. I just look by what I see. And the stats tell the story as well too. Now, we've still got 10 rounds minimum to get through. Let's just see what happens then. But if they've seduced me – I'm I'm happy to fall in love because I have fallen in love with what they're doing right now. It is it is reminiscent to me at the moment, Peps, of the from what I'm seeing is it is the 2000 Essendon team. Very similar to that. I'm just seeing a team that is just so far ahead that it's really hard to say they won't win it from here. A clear yeah, head and shoulders. It was different. They were brutal. Like I don't think the Swans are brutal, but they're just so clean across the board. But it's also like, you know, okay, let's say Carlton. Carlton have Kerno and they've got Mackay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then who's their third big goal kicker after that? Well, they've got the spread. Will you got Williams down there? It's been a great move this year. Yeah, Dylan Williams has been a great move. Yeah. Okay. You have a look at Sydney and how many players have kicked over 20 goals. Oh, yeah, the midfield. Yep. Their midfield, like for, for a midfielder to kick 20 goals in a season, that's like, that's, that's pretty cherry ripe. They've got three that have already done it a round and a half ago. Yeah. You've got McDonald still down there. You've got McLean down there. You've got Amadi, who we spoke about, the Amadi party. They just, I want to celebrate how good they are going at the moment. It, it, that's. Uh, that's what I like to see. Now, we've got questions coming in, and I've loved it. They've shown all their cards. Uh, are Sydney any good at the MCG? Well, they. I think the, I think the Swans are good anywhere they play. Um, and they've when shown all their cards. Well, you know what? If they've shown all their cards, awesome. Because I don't know at the moment who's got a hand that can beat it, whether it's now or in it's a number of weeks. Who do you stop? Who do you go to? Who do you sacrifice? Do you try and stop there? Do you try and stop Blakey off half back? Do you decide to drop? You know, do you go after Heaney? Do you go after Warner? Do you go after Goulden on the wings? Do you know? And Jordan's going to go to with their best player and tag. He's been as you know. Do you go after Grundy? Like, there's so many. There's headaches all around. Well, as um as David King said, the race really is now for second and third for the teams. You, you, you're only playing Sydney in the finals. Yes, I'd say. There's three spots left in the top four. All right. Now they've never anything can happen grand final day. They haven't got there yet, but they are putting themselves in a position that it's almost going to be impossible for any team to beat them up in Sydney. And I think I don't think there's another Sydney. We won't see Sydney and Carlton for the rest of the season. That's good. Shame. That's not. Oh, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind to see them just one mate. last test with a with a genuine twin setup. No. You want, you want to just save that to the finals? Save it for the finals, mate. Save it for the finals. Hey, some great comments coming through at the moment. David Salt, Sheedy always says, get to the end of the season with the least amount of injuries. That You know what? They've had a really good run of injuries. But let's be honest. They've been pretty good from that perspective. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, yeah, they've just, they were just 
They were just awesome on the weekend. 